was it loud, it's still going. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Do me a favor, leave a comment below. And more importantly, you can support this channel by buying our merch. We have a brand new shirt. Look at this thing. Zip tied through the FSM logo. And then a list of ways to get you out of trouble and fix problems in your life. We are back at the lake. We have the Renegade here, which we have not driven since the last time you saw it. I think we went 73 miles an hour, 74, something like that. Today, we're not trying to go faster. We're just trying to shoot a bigger rooster tail for the ladies. So here is all the ways we can achieve that, starting with stock. This is the nozzle of the boat. We've showed you this before. This moves up and down. It's called a place diverter. And this adjusts the angle of the nozzle and also the attitude of the boat as it goes across the water. Currently, we have a stop on here for racing, so it can only go so high. Right now, this is set at about four and a half degrees up. If I take this bolt out and there's no stop, when I hit the up button, this arm will pivot all the way back here, just about to hit here. And this should go up probably about eight degrees, maybe even more, I don't know, I've never tried it. And shoot a bigger, higher, longer rooster tail. How do we make that go even higher? Like real high, like clearing bridges and stuff. This is the bowl of the jet drive, the impellers in here. This part right here is an extension and it's called a droop snoot. Basically what this does is it lowers the thrust line, okay? The water would be coming straight out of the bowl, except now it's gonna go downhill and then exit straight this way. So it's taking the thrust line of the jet drive and moving it down. And when it does that, the boat rides higher up out of the water. So the lower you make this, the less wetted surface you're gonna have because the hull is gonna ride up higher in relation to the water. However, there's, there's a point where you can lower it too much. They make these in multiple sizes. So on game over, we have a shorter version of this. It doesn't lower it nearly as much because it doesn't need it. Bigger boats, heavier boats, might have one that even comes further down. And then there are other versions of this that don't have any degree of angle change like this. They're just straight. And because the jet drive is bolted into the boat at an angle that's down, the longer you make this, you can achieve the same effect without actually bending the water. It's just a straight part that comes all the way down. And then at the very end of it, it has an, a change of angle at the pins right here. So there's a lot of ways to skin this cat. But ultimately, what determines how big your roost is, is what angle this is pointed at when you're hot rodding. Ultimately, shooting a higher rooster tail does nothing for the performance of the boat. It will not go faster. In fact, it will go slower the higher you shoot the rooster tail. But chicks dig it and it looks cool, and so we're gonna try to make it go as high as we possibly can on the Renegade here today. Dave's getting the digital angle finder because right now I think this thing is adjusted at four degrees. But I also commented that if I took the bolt out, it'd probably be like eight, and I think you disagree. I think it's gonna be way more. That's a, that's that's about an inch and three quarters of a gap that you're about to take out. So if this goes all the way and bumps this, <laughs> that's going to be like 15 degrees. It might be. I mean, you're limited to the travel of the hydraulic cylinder. Okay. So this might not hit this with this. Now, there's two ways to make this operate. This is hydraulic. It's got a cylinder right there. They also make a version with a cable and a manual handle inside the boat. And I've seen guys that have so much travel with the cable that they actually notched this right here so that when it comes all the way back this way, it'll go just a little bit further and shoot even more of a roost. Roosting's a thing. V-Drive guys will never get it, but jet drive guys all agree roost is cool. Unless you're trying to race, then, then it's just a waste. So in the past, I've told you guys that it's my belief that the jet boat is kind of pulling itself through the water. And what I mean when I say that is there is suction present on the inlet side of the jet drive. It is sucking water up, right? But then you have thrust created here by the jet drive out the back. And the thrust is propelling the boat. Won't argue with you there, it is. 
However, you can't have thrust without suction, which is why I'm always like, ah, it's kind of pulling itself through the water. And so the proof in that the thrust is what's doing everything and the nozzle reaction of the water coming out is when, let's say on game over, we shut this right here and the water has nowhere to go but out the sides and the boat pretty much sits still. That's all the proof you really need to know that the thrust is what's you know propelling the boat. But even when I do that, that boat still tries to move, partly because water's leaking out in other areas, but also because I think there is suction there and it's kind of pulling the boat through the water. Um, so while I agree with everybody on the internet, like the thrust is what's moving the boat, it is, I also say you can't have thrust without suction. So they kind of go hand in hand. So when you guys were on roadkill, flying across the water, had a pretty good roost behind it. Was the bolt in there or did you take the bolt out? The bolt was not in there and I had taken a rope and tied these two things together because the hydraulic system failed. And so I had it as far as it would go. So what you saw in the first roadkill episode where we took the motor out of the Chevy C10 and put it in the boat and tried to go racing, that was max for this or real close to it, whatever, you know, the rope stretched a little bit, but that was max, um, which is pretty high. You know, and so a stock place diverter will shoot a pretty high roost, probably about 10 feet in the air. And then the moment you start wedging this up or installing other parts to make the nozzle go even higher, pff, watch out, dude. <laughs> you could probably shoot the drone out of the air. So today is all about fun. How high can we make this go? Test number one, race mode. How high is that? Then we'll take the bolt out, go maximum. What can we get out of this place diverter? Then we're gonna wedge this thing up. Then we're gonna install a part you may have never seen before and it's gonna like blow your mind. All right, Newburn's gonna measure. So zero that out on the bottom of the boat, just somewhere next to the intake. And then I'm going to open up the bucket. So that's forward. And then Dave, you can set that part on top of that, make your life easier. 5.3. Okay, so relative to the bottom of the boat right now, the place diverter has a positive 5.3 degree upwards angle. Let's go see what that roost looks like. So let's check the oil, make sure, because this last time this thing got a lot of, it was in the rain. This was covered up, but I want to make sure nothing's contaminated. So let's kind of give it a once over. Has it been on a battery charger? No. Got it. Okay. But the battery, the kill switch has been off, so we should be good. Oh, yeah, we're going to be fine. So attached to the jet drive is a device called a Jetaway. And it's a clutch. So if you grab that handle and slide it towards the jet drive, it's out of gear. And although the drive shaft is spinning, the jet drive won't be spinning, which is good because you don't want to just run your jet drive dry. Go for it. A little squirty, squirt, squirt. Ready? Go for it. We still got the same uh, yeah. half rib belt. Yeah, that's where it's happy, so we're gonna let it be happy. <laughs> there we go. Right. Dude, she's ready. I'm gonna put it back in gear. out and see how high it'll go and what it looks like. Just so we're clear, if it starts raining, I'm still fine as long as it doesn't start lightning, but I'm still down, dude. Oh, a little moisture never hurt anybody. That just, just washes the tops of the pistons off. You'll be, you'll be good, don't worry. Um, okay, so now that was 5.3 degrees of up. Okay, pretty good roost. Boat looked great. Now we're gonna take the bolt out of the stop measure it again to see how high it goes and then send you out there. And what you're going to find is when you, when you go past 5.3 degrees, you're going to feel the boat slow down. And then eventually it's going to get slower and slower and it may start hopping. Like it may be undrivable in terms of wide open throttle, but the effect will be the same. You're going to get a monster roost. Do I have to go full throttle to, like, to achieve this or can I just go like three quarter? No, you're going to find it's going to go higher automatically just from the angle. But to get more distance and a little more height, you got you to gotta mat it. 
not for very long, you know. All right, I'm gonna let you do this because it's important that you be the one to get wet. It's your project. So zero that on the bottom of the boat again. Reference the nozzle again so we'll know how much of a change we're making. All right, so basically what it was before, 5.5. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna loosen the jam nut. Go ahead and put the nozzle back down. We can take this bolt out completely. All right, now we're in Captain Insano mode. Go ahead and put it all the way up. Let's see where it stops. Oh, okay, so the two arms don't contact each other, okay? And that's because you've reached the limits of the stroke of this hydraulic cylinder. Now again, there's a manual cable set up with a handle that you can get for these, or you can change the cylinder that'll make it where this arm comes all the way back here and hits this arm. And then, like I said, there's, there's people out there that actually grind this away to get a little more nozzle out of it, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna show you some other things you can do. What's your guess? You said eight? You yeah, I'm guessing, let me look at it now. I'm guessing this is like 17 degrees above. I guess 15. Oh, 19. Nearly 20 degrees. So you're gonna go from 5.5 .5 you're gonna add another 15 degrees right now. See, I know what this does in game over. This is like crash. Like you're going out there to crash if this is in game over. So. Yeah, but this is so slow. That's not what happens okay, here. Right. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good, trust me. Okay. This boat will not do a backflip because it will no longer go 75 miles an hour. Because yeah, I screwed your I screwed your settings up on the game over one time and you come out of the water over there. I remember that. Yeah, so, and that was like two degrees wrong. I, I didn't hold it against you. I wouldn't. Here we go. We're about to go from five and a half to 20 degrees of up nozzle angle. This will be a wild change. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's big. That's really big. That was cool. <laughs> Dude, that is a rooster tail. <laughs> Dude, that was so cool. It's it harder to steer. It was, yeah, doesn't the steering get tight? Yes. Yeah. That's what it was, like, when I'm trying to turn, I was like, I was trying, it was like, it was, I had to like pedal it right here because I was going towards the docks and it wouldn't like, I had to like really get into it to turn it. <laughs> so. Dude, it looks so good. It's not even the same. Really? It's probably three times as high. Like it's really? badass, dude. Sweet. And uh, this is gonna buff out. I feel like we're surrounded by sunshine. This, this, this will go away. I'm, the, I'm not even sweating this. We're gonna keep going for you guys. <laughs> right, Dave? Right. <laughs> Dude, just pretend you're in Hawaii. It's warm out. Oh, yeah, it is I'm, warm out. I mean, I know we're wet, but... I just don't have to change the clothes. It's, it's, it's warm out. I don't out. know why. You, you'd think, after all this time, like, I would bring clothes to your house and leave them, but I don't ever do that. I don't get you. I was like, hey, bring the boat. You're like, okay. You brought nothing. No towel, no shorts. Speaking of the gas tanks, man. You didn't say we're water testing. I just thought it was implied. Bring the boat. Fix gas tanks and water test. Here on out. Now we're not even fixing the gas tanks, we're just water testing. Never let it be said that this channel is all about me. All right? I'm not even driving this pile today. It's Dave's day. I'm just like pit crewing. Like you're Noah, this is the Ark, and I'm just that other dude who's like putting the animals in on board so that you can survive. We got more parts to make it even bigger. If that was Captain Insano mode, you're about to go full bananas right now. I think we're gonna get about 35 in the next one, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never put one on, but the Rooster Booster, it looks aggressive. All right, I gotta apologize. I did take my microphone off because I didn't want it to get wet. It's raining. Didn't see that coming. 
but it's a warm rain. You know, it's the kind of rain you'd probably experience in Hawaii, uh, where it's just like, oh, well, I'm getting wet. So we're gonna keep working. We're gonna put on our next part, and then um, we'll probably wait for the rain to stop before we test the next part, because sadly, this rain doesn't hurt now, but at 50 miles an hour, it feels like somebody's throwing rocks at your face. We don't want that. I look, it says it's not even raining. But what are we doing? I don't know, we should just go back to work. Yeah, let's get back out there. It's perfectly fine here. <laughs> okay. We had to retreat. It was just raining too hard. Not too hard that we couldn't do the work, but too hard for you guys to hear anything we're saying. So we're gonna back her on into uh, the side of the garage over here. Install our next part. Hopefully the rain slows down. Then we're gonna go even bigger with our roost. Bo's gonna make sure everything's going smoothly. Dude, look at the shine on the Renegade. You know what I like about the rain? It gives you a glimpse of the future, of possibilities. Like, look how much this thing could gleam if we just put a little bit of effort into, you know, her appearance. It does look good. It does, right? A little wax. Anthony Bell, I'm gonna need you to not be so busy and address this issue. Yeah, a little wax, a little polish, Anthony, let's go. We could do this. Let's put studs in it. And then uh, once the studs are in it, We'll measure the angle and then we'll find out how much this is going to add to it. So like what we could do right now is we could put the angle finder right here and zero it, then bolt this on and go, oh, this is adding this much to it, you know, which is a lot. Like, look at that right there like that. Dude, give me that angle finder. <laughs> do you favor, zero it right here. <laughs> now we got to wait for the bolting on. Got it. All right, and then, um, okay, that looks about right. 10, that's good for 10 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be 10 degrees of up, plus whatever this is adding. This was 20, 30, so 30 I think we get 30 in the end, 30 degrees of up angle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's awesome. So I'm gonna put studs in here, Put a gasket, put that on, put another gasket, then we'll bolt the droop to this. This is gonna be a long, like we're totally overcompensating um, in a lot of women's eyes, but trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> All right, where the studs go, sir? Right there on top. Thought you were gonna point at yourself. <laughs> All right. I'm just one, I'm not, I'm not a bunch. Not a bunch. Ooh, we should probably put anti seize on these. Yeah. The break of night, and the pink skies waving goodbye. She come out of break of night, leaving no traces around. around. She's trying to free, she's trying to free a reckless heart. Behold, the Nozzle Leader 3000. <laughs> to recap, for perspective. When it was set up in race mode, we were whole shotting the boat with like eight degrees of down angle. And then the nozzle would pivot up and at about five degrees, that was race mode. And it shot like a four or five foot high rooster tail. Then we took the stop off. Then that went to 20 degrees. Boat still drove okay. It was slower, but it shot a really good rooster tail. Now we've changed all of it and we have 35 degrees of up angle. This may be the highest rooster tail I've ever seen on anything in my life, which is what we wanted. And it's bound to leak from every gasket we put in there. How many gaskets we got? We've got one, two, three, four, four gaskets, two wedges, one rooster booster, 
and a guaranteed good time. For me, I'll be on the shore filming, maybe trying to crash the drone, you know. I'll use the drone to locate you if it goes wrong. I don't have insurance. You got insurance? I do. You don't. I don't. Yeah, mine doesn't cover this sort of thing, though. Mm. Yeah. For our jobs, insurance is kind of like, we don't really cover any of that stuff you guys are doing there on the YouTubes. I need to ask you one more time, can you hit the subscribe button for me? On with the show. The rain is let up. The scoop is facing backwards. We have a rooster booster and two wedges in there. 35 degrees of up angle on the nozzle. Newbert's putting on a life vest and I believe a helmet. Just for the rain. Just for the rain. And um, boat's flooded, but that's what bilge pumps are for. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited. It would have sucked to have waited all weekend till next week to find out what happens. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Look, I even brought a little, I got a paddle. Like, I'm ready to go. You got a paddle. Because I don't know how much fuel's in it. I don't really care. You got a paddle. <laughs> I see one, I see three seconds of what it's going to do, then I'll paddle back to it. Uh, dude, it's raining so hard. This may be the sketchiest thing we've ever done. Like, legit, it is pouring. I'm ready. <laughs> so much safety. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't lightning. I'm sure it was something else. Okay. That's the only thing I'm worried about. All right, so uh, we've got the moon tune on the jet drive. 35 <laughs> degrees of up angle on that nozzle. Um, it's raining. There might have been a flash or two. For the record, your idea, not mine, to go out there right now. I don't want to wait. I want to know what happens. And I want to wait till like, tomorrow it's going to rain all day. I'm not waiting two or three days for this, dude. I agree. Get the water coming off of the cage of the mule. Dedication. For science. For right. you guys. What happens when you take a jet boat out in the middle of a thunderstorm and get hit by lightning? We're going to find out today. <laughs> what do you think your neighbors think about us coming down here in the middle of a thunderstorm? Well, I think up until this day, they were like, man, those guys are kind of crazy, uh, but we, we respect their pursuit of speed. Now they're just like, them two are idiots. I don't know why we let them use our launch ramp. And I don't blame them. Wow, okay, this is all rutted out. Like, there's a river going through the path to the lake. I'm gonna have to choose a different line here from the old mule. And uh, you know, I, I feel like ultimately, You'll be fine, or you'll be crispy, one or the other, but mostly fine, I think. I brought an oar. I feel like that's the ticket. And it's a plastic oar. Yeah. That's the key. You don't want to be waving a metal one about when you're out there in the middle of the water. Right. <laughs> dude, look at this. It's all washed out, dude. Damn, the docks are, uh, the ramps to the docks are underwater. Whoa. Yes, they are. Hey, out of curiosity, if I get out there and break down, um, who's coming to get me? Well, I'll, I'll think real hard about it, but if there's lightning... Okay, all right. I'll, I'll think real hard about it. As long as you're thinking about it, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah look. That's underwater. <laughs> you got a lot of rain. Well, you got a little bit of rain. All right, I'm getting in. All right. Good luck. <laughs> you got this. Is it loud? It's still going. It's still rumbling. That was just one. Yeah, there's a little bit of water in there. Suddenly I have to pee. I don't think it's going in as fast as it's pumping out. So that's good news. When it starts like, when the flywheel starts like flinging it around in the back of the boat, I'll know to turn the pump on. The rain's really kind of let up, you know? And I don't hear any more thunder. I feel good about this. It's let up because you're under an umbrella. <laughs> uh, yes, yes I am. A Hoosier umbrella. Be 
careful. When that nozzle is pointed up and you get after the throttle like that, that boat wants to come out of the water. That was hairy. Yeah! Oh my god, dude! That's crazy looking. It's absolutely crazy looking. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, it's huge! It's absolutely a monster. Look at it, it's porpoising. Oh my god! It is shooting so high. <laughs> oh my god, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look how high it's shooting all the way down when he's just cruising. So all the way down is about 11 degrees which is five more than you need to go racing. And all the way up is 35 degrees. <laughs> all right, here he comes. Rogers Bonneville TR, two wedges and a rooster booster equals 11 degrees of up nozzle at cruise and 35 degrees of up nozzle in the up position. <laughs> oh my God, it is just skating. Absolutely skating. That is madness, absolute madness. <laughs> It has so much angle to it that when you're just idling in here and you put it up, it's shooting water out of the water, like way up there. And dude, awesome. that last time when you came by here and you matted the throttle, the whole boat just levitated out of the water like that. And I was like, oh God, lift, lift, lift. <laughs> it's great. It's fun. Dude, it's crazy. It actually looks like it's relatively safe. It's not bad at all. Given, anyway. Yeah, given what you were doing out there, it's relatively safe. Yeah, especially if you have like, the nozzle all the way down, it's fine. Like, it doesn't drive, it's, I mean, it's a little weird, but it doesn't drive crazy. But, like, when you go up, it's like, it's Yeah, weird. yeah. All right, let me get you in here before we get struck by lightning. For the folks at home, give me all the way down. down. Oh, that's down. That is 35 degrees of up angle and 11 degrees of up angle is all the way down. I've never seen that much before. That's two three degree wedges and a rooster booster and a droop snoot. Like that is crazy. And it didn't look that sketchy except when you were turning and you got after it. It, it, it yeah. drove right out of the water. So when I was turning and like, when I was turning the boat, I just put it all the way down. Yep. I didn't want it all the way up when I was turning, but. So yeah, just idling with it all the way up, it's just shooting out of the water. Dude, it's crazy. You're, when you drove in here by the docks with it pointed up, it's just shooting a roost yeah. up into the air. Yeah, luckily, like this was the key right here. Like, like when I had this up, it was like needles. <laughs> As soon as I closed it, it was on, dude. Phew. Success. Now we just need a sunny day so we can get the drone out there and show you what this looks like from multiple angles.
my 